gun, this is so huge. We gotta throw it on the scale and see officially how much this one weighs. Today we're in Austin, Texas, and in this video, we're gonna attempt to eat a burrito that weighs over five pounds. This is my buddy John right here, high school friend. What's up? These days he's on TikTok. He posts videos every six months. <laughs> but before we get to the burrito, we're gonna be trying out some of Austin's iconic tacos. To be more specific, breakfast tacos. Right now we're headed to our first location called Tamale House. Here, they're whipping up some of the best tacos in town, I assume, including cock, tails. Is there supposed to be a pause in the middle? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, my bad. First meal of the day, Johnny, how's it look? <laughs> it looks delicious. It looks yeah. really good. This is the classic right here. That's the uh, potato and egg taco. Right now I'm in the kitchen with Diana. She has over 60 years of breakfast taco making experience. What we do basically, they're hand cut potato. We've already salted and peppered it. And then usually our eggs pour that in there. Let's just heat a couple of tortillas. And then you come over, and here's your potato and egg. You can use a yellow cheese, you can put some white cheese, and then you come and get a strip of bacon. The next move right here, you have to put on some salsa. Have you ever had a breakfast taco before? Oh yes, many breakfast tacos, just not in Austin. There's so many different iconic foods in Texas. Austin is known for the breakfast taco. Yes. Why is the breakfast taco so popular? I think it's just kind of the, the beautiful simplicity of it. You just get a tortilla, either corn or flour, and you fill it with whatever your heart's desire. It's gonna have eggs, it's gonna have bacon, it's probably have potatoes. So all of those ingredients that are really familiar to people at breakfast, but it's just kind of put in this different, wonderful form. And they're delicious, and people absolutely love them. For you, what makes a good breakfast taco? I really like the potatoes in there, and it's gotta be a little bit of the chewy kind of texture. What part would be chewy? The eggs? Uh, yeah, the eggs and the potatoes. Well, chewy and cheese. Moving on. What makes an egg <laughs> chewy? The <laughs> fact that you can chew on it? Yeah. Oh, the bacon. A soft tortilla on the outside. Almost chewy, John. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Is that a real reaction? Honestly, I think second bite was better for me. I think I got a little bit more bacon and all the juices in there, I really got them this time. They're coming together. Yeah, mixed. And so I felt apprehensive about the potatoes inside, but it's not too much potato. It's not too starchy or too carby. <laughs> it's very good. Here, a second taco. This is called the Migas. Have you ever heard of a Migas taco? I've never heard of a Migas taco. I've heard of Migas before. I what? know it's pretty famous here in what? Texas. Oh. We're gonna get the rhythm down pretty soon, especially me. What is migas? It's like tortilla chips fried with some ranchero sauce and eggs, and then they put it in the tortilla to make it a taco. Yeah, if you take a whole hamburger, put it inside of a tortilla, I think it's still a taco. Hamburguesa de cadilla. <laughs> oh, wow. So what were you anticipating, and how was it different? A lot more sloppy texture, but it was like crunchy and chewy from the tortilla chips. It is gooey, warm, pleasant. There's a mixture of textures inside. It's eggy. It's really nice. It is messy, but very good. The first taco, it looks better. But this taco, I looked at it, I'm like, this looks like a sloppy dude. And then you find out. He's really funny. I mean, if you look like this, you got to be funny. Wait, which one? Am I talking about me or the taco? It might be a mixture of, no, it's the taco. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. This is a great way to start the day. That's breakfast, now more food, and then finally the clickbait thumbnail of the whole video, the giant burrito. Before that, something else. Go, oh, you crushed that, dude. Fun? Put it there, business good? Very good. I'm excited to be here. I want to start with the name. How'd this name come about? It's a beautiful play on words. Over a couple drinks. That was a lot shorter story than I thought it would be. Can you describe the type of food you're serving here? It's basically Mexican traditional dishes with a uh, Texan twist. Oh, and you guys do breakfast tacos? Yes, we do a lot of it. I'm trying to figure out what to order. I've got this right here, the menu. Oh yeah, nopalitos. Nopalitos is just cactus and mixed with eggs. C is cactus can be categorized as a breakfast food? You can use cactus in, in breakfast, lunch, dinner. In a moment, I'm gonna get to step inside the kitchen, see how they actually make the tacos, and then, time to eat. Let's do it. So, I'm in the kitchen with Juan right here. It is lively, there's a ton of action. There are so many people in the restaurant today. Let's get to it. We're gonna make two different types of tacos. A couple of nopalitos and a couple of machacado. Machacado, let's do it. These are the ingredients for the uh, machacado taco. It's onions, tomatoes, jalapenos. Now she's adding the machacado. And on the side there, she's also starting the nopalito. All right, hit it with a little bit of oil. Egg, egg, oh, 
this is looking good. So this is the beautifully soft beef jerky. There we go, cactus for breakfast. So just like that, in a couple of minutes, both tacos are finished. There's nothing left to do now but to sit down and try it out. Juan, check it out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here, a variety of tacos at Juan in a Million. I like of all the puns he could have come up with. He was like, let's go with Juan in a Million? I'm John in a Million, so yeah. <laughs> he could have done uh, Juan Flew Over the Cuckoo Bird's Nest. Oh, that was a good one. Wonder Woman or Wonder Boy. A Million to Juan with Paul Rodriguez. I I like watching The Juan with Jet Li. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Let me give you a tour of what's going on here. First of all, this is the mother effin' Don Juan Taco. One pound of food, no, it's seven bucks. It's all the ingredients we tried before previously though. There's cheese, bacon, eggs, and potato on there. It looks glorious. But I'm gonna take that home because we already had something similar, but much smaller. Here, two very unique tacos. We have the Nepalitos and the Mitochondria. Shoot, how do I say this? We got the Machacado. Do you know what Machacado is? I heard it was like some shredded beef. Basically, it's dried beef. A mix with onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, and eggs. And so when you're eating it, is it still dry? I always describe it like beef jerky, but more tender. So it's a soft jerky. All right, should we try this? Yep. Here we go. Juicy. What I love is these tortillas. Between corn and flour, which guy are you? I'm a flour guy. I'm a flour guy. And I can't help it, like, I go to Mexico, I eat the corn tortillas because, well, I have no choice. I like that too, but I love the flour so much. And that's what everybody has here. But it's not just flour, it's thick, and it's holding in all this moisture. And I really like the spice at the end. It's kind of like a hint right after you finish tasting the delicious cheese and machocado. What kind of rating would you give it between Juan and 10? I'm gonna go with, like, a 8 point. Five. Oh, I thought you were going to say 8.1. That would have been better, but 8.5, pretty good too. Next, Nepalitos. Here's a fun tip. Learn 10 Spanish words and say them with absolute conviction, like me. Tortilla, salsa, Nepalitos. And people go, wow, that guy is a douchebag. <laughs> I mean, cultural. All right, right here, take a look. It couldn't be more simple. Eggs, little strips of cactus. John, have you ever had a cactus, period? No, my first cactus experience. Give me your first impression. It looks like green beans and eggs, which, cool. Let's try it out. Sorry. Very wet. But it tastes green. I agree. It's something between a green bean and okra. Mixed together. But the flavor and the seasonings inside, the egg, it gives it some body. It's perfect. It tastes delicious. This is not one that you want to get for delivery. It's going to be sopping wet by the time it gets to you. Oh. All right. Well, this was all just to fill time. Now we're going to our final location. Let's get moving. Big burrito. Welcome to Free Birds World Burrito. This is our third and final location. This place is all about the burritos. They have monster burritos, but you can even make it more monstery somehow. I'm gonna learn how the burritos work, what they put inside. I'm gonna talk to the CE Izzo. And then after that, Johnny and some other guy are gonna attempt to eat burritos that could possibly weigh over five pounds. Let's see what happens. One of the things that caught my eye in coming here is that you can get the normal burrito, which looks big and delicious, but you can also monster size it. Is that what it's called? Yeah, so monster size means you get an extra scoop of protein, extra scoop of rice, beans, and then if you want to go off menu and you're feeling really hungry, you can go super monster. When you super monster size it, what's happening there? Well, that's a secret. I think you actually have to see for yourself. I've broken into the kitchen, I'm here with Chris, and right now he's gonna make the super monster burrito. So we have two options, our flyer and cayenne tortillas. I think we should go cayenne. So that's Spanish rice, this is our cilantro lime rice, and then we also have three different beans. So we have black, this is our refry, and now we finish off with our pinto beans. And we got our fried potatoes over here. Here we got our four proteins, we got our steak, our Freebirds chicken, green chili pork, and our fajita chicken. So right here we're gonna go with our signature steak and then our Freebirds chicken. We can even throw our new fajita chicken in here if we want sure, to. Sure, more chicken. We got our peppers and onions right here, and liquid gold. The queso. Now we got some shredded cheese, our signature corn salsa. We also have our house death sauce, a kick of lime juice. We got our pico. Oh my god, this is so huge. We got our signature creamy jalapeno, which is a favorite with everyone. Maybe cool them down a little bit with some sour cream. A little bit of roasted garlic, a little of extra flavor kick there. Should we give them a little kick, habanero? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> In one piece, it looks good. We got the scale here. All right, boom, there it is, ringing in just over five pounds. That is ridiculous. Chris, you've outdone yourself. Thank you very much. No problem, brother. Have a good one.
The moment has finally come. I'm here with John and Sergio. Is that your real name? Yeah, it's my real name. Right here we have the burritos. Gentlemen, what do you think? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit worried, but I think we can knock it out today. Yeah. I forgot to mention, I made up that there's a 15 minute time limit. I'm just doing it to help them. The worst thing you could have is an unlimited time limit because then you're just going to be eating for days. 15 minutes to put down five pounds of food. I think it can be done. Gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. We're starting it in three, two, one, go. Okay. A lot of wasted time so far. They've not eaten anything. Zero percent consumed at this point. All right, here we go. This is a cayenne tortilla, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. You like that? Yeah. Good. Delicious. Look at this. Johnny taking some time to review the food as he goes. That is a real pro. Sergio, what do you think of the taste? It's pretty good. For that spice, though, it's going to do good enough for that. We're going to have to subtitle that one. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> oh, John, all that that's on your mustache and beard, you got to eat that, too. I'm saving it for later. That looks so delicious, so really tempting. Good. I wish I could jump in and help. Are you enjoying this right now? Yeah, first half, definitely delicious. Are you doing great? Six minutes in, not even halfway. You guys are doing great. People watching this are so hungry right now. You might be asking, why are we doing this? I don't know. Content, I guess. Entertainment. Are you not entertained? John slowing down a little bit. Look at this one compared to this one. Sergio is crushing it. I'm starting to slow down too, John. Whoop, dude, you're doing stellar. It's going tough, man. We're in the trenches together right now. Yeah, we're in the trenches yeah. right now. It's just tough. No, you're not together. You're competing. We're competing. I hope you lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, that's cheating. Careful. I didn't mean to. Here, have a bite. No, I'm good. I gotta get in here like a referee. I gotta make sure everybody's acting appropriately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. John, we gotta get dessert after this. No, oh, man. Sergio, you are within the realm of possibility here. Yeah. We got a little bit less than five minutes left. Let's keep going, guys. You're doing great, young grasshopper. Oh, man. I'm gonna bring shame upon my family name. I'm sorry. About one minute remains. John looks like emotionally he's quit. I'm just... How do we get here? How did we arrive at this point in my life? You got 40 seconds. Let's go. 15 seconds. Not giving up. Oh. A big final push from Johnny. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Did it actually taste good? John, your beard is full of burrito chunks. That was a great burrito. Really like the meat. It was seasoned very well. Was it spicy? It was a decent burn, you know? Keeps it interesting, for sure. Yeah, it's a good burrito. I think that my mind was definitely not in the tasting of anything. It was just getting it down. I think the burrito was good, but unfortunately we didn't get it today. What would you do differently next time, John? Sometimes you come up short, but this is a lesson in life, you know? We don't quit here. We keep moving on. We press forward. Incredible, inspiring words to live by by John there. Sergio, what would you do differently next time? Uh -huh. I just don't know what I would do differently at this point. Sergio, not accepting that he could have any flaws at all. He did everything perfectly. There's nothing in his power he would change. Oh. If he had 17 minutes, he would have finished this for sure. He's oh, still eating. He's still like, eating. Guys. A few minutes after the ending. <laughs> Sergio, finishing it anyways. Let's go, buddy. Last okay, bite. Uh, look at that. That's five pounds of food that is now in there. Here, look. Look what I found. Chris came back. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Time for round two. No, get uh, out of here. Guys, well done. <laughs> yeah. Boom, that is the end of the video. I want to say a huge thank you to these two gentlemen right here. First of all, Sergio, congratulations. Oh. You did it. You can find Sergio at The Taco Tourist on Instagram. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having well me. Well done. And then, as always, my good friend, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, Why is hey, everyone, handshake. This is a handshake. Well, because it was way down here. I'm going to start I'm, doing handshakes like this. Up, thank you. That's how I can see it. Check out Johnny on TikTok. Johnny Samoa, TikTok. He's posting videos every single six months. At least two videos a year. Big props to this guy. He ate with me a whole day. I was actually full when we got here, and then he tried to eat five pounds of burrito. He's yeah. absolutely insane. Oh. Well done, both of you gentlemen. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. Is that not Did I do it wrong? <laughs> peace. You oh. can do peace. peace. He's like, love. <laughs> peace. La blood. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, we're gang signs. It's gang signs. I'm from a gang. Welcome to the Best Ever Merch Store, where you can check out our brand new designs. Best Ever Bandanas in black, white, and red. The Please Send Nudes hoodie. Pillow soft fabric with a quality custom graphic inlay. And our street food around the world graphic tee. We're now shipping everywhere around the world. Just visit shopbesteverfood.com or click the link in the description below to get your new merch today. A peace.